So, what about Guardians of Ember? What does it have to offer? When will it come out? When will it be pushed into early access? What does it have to offer compared to some other MMOs or action RPGs that are found throughout the community or the scene as a whole? All of that and a lot more in this video, so stay tuned. Guardians of Ember is being developed by RuneWaker. Now, if you do not know who RuneWaker is, if you're not familiar with them, they are the team behind Runes of Magic and Dragon's Prophet. These games will be kind of important for information in the future of this video, so I'll get back to that in a, in a little bit. But Guardians of Ember is actually a, it's a unique combination of what they're saying between a hack and slash type of game mixed with a typical traditional MMO oriented combat type of game that has both PvE and PvP. The game will feature six different types of classes and then following upon hitting level 15 they will let you choose a secondary class. This is very similar to how Runes of Magic worked. If you never played Runes of Magic uh, you're able to choose between two classes obviously a main one and a secondary one so just an example uh, back when I played which was very very long ago I don't really remember the name of the classes but you can go from like a, a priest and then eventually you can unlock like a knight or something like that in which you can uh, mix and match skills between these two classes. Within the game there's going to be a variety of 58 different regions uh, in which all the different regions will spawn 60 different randomized dungeons. Uh, all of them obviously you'll be tested differently with different skills and they will range in different difficulties. Uh, you're gonna try to retrieve the ember and that's basically what the game evolves around is retrieving this ember. So what does this game have to offer for early access? Early access will allow those to play the game for only the first two acts of the story. Acts 3, 4, and 5 will be releasing with the final product or the final version of the game and they're saying that could be anywhere from 3 to 6 months down the road. The pricing of this early access for all the bundles have not been finalized yet so we'll probably actually hear about them soon because the early access will be releasing in September of this year which is 2016 of course. They will have most of the features that they're uh, trying to implement in the game for the early access so you're gonna be kind of limited for just the story and not much of the other features personally as I've been somewhat indifferent about companies choosing to release some of their content that is put behind a paywall rather such as early accesses to help fund the rest of their games I'm not really sure how well the game will be because I have only seen gameplay and pictures from what Rune Waker has put out for us and obviously as not playing the game you can't really give a, a final impression or a view so we're not gonna know how much or how well the game's gonna play what type of features the game will have I would like to go over those as well feature wise uh, like I said in the beginning dual classes and like I said there's going to be six classes also they're trying to push a unlimited character optimization as best as they can so they're giving you four races six classes and over 300 different active and passive skills to kind of build your character up uh, upon that they will have like I said the randomized dungeons which will be um, about 60 of them crafting and enchanting so that you can uh, uh, you know make your equipment your your weapons and stuff like that there's going to be housing in the game this is gonna be cool uh, usually you don't really see these with these types of games but more and more now we're seeing a lot more MMOs actually implement housing as it gives a kind of a, a fresh way for someone just to kick it back and just chill with some people or just trying to uh, build your house and do some achievements or something for decorations. The storyline, like I said, will only be Act 1 and 2 for the early access, and then from there, they give you a couple of different PvP options to choose from, none of which are actually going to be Battlegrounds. They're all gonna be arena type of modes for you. So you're gonna have a 1v1, a 3v3, and a 5v5, both of which you can do unranked and ranked. So they're giving you a couple of options, obviously as it's early access, they have a couple of optimization settings to push out and balance and stuff like that. So this early access is really just for them to kind of get an idea for how they want to push the rest of their game and really optimize the game as much as they can. It's not really a content kind of thing. How does this game compare to some other MMOs or action RPGs that you see currently? Okay, so Guardians of Ember 
will find a nice spot in the action MMO and RPG scene because of its hack and slash oriented combat. They say it's going to have unlimited character optimization, which could be perceived wrong, but essentially they allow you to choose from four races, six classes, and like I said, over 300 unique different active and passive skills to build up your character how you want to play it. Its PvP does look pretty intriguing. It allows you to play the arena type PvP with, like I said in the beginning, no large battles or type of open world battles. So if you want to play competitively, you know, you can play rank and test your skills against the best of the best. The housing is another feature that I think is good because it's something that gets people out in the world doing different things for achievements or feats that can potentially unlock these decorations. So I think it's a nice feature and it's definitely something that more MMOs are starting to implement because of the ability that it gets people out in the world doing things. The combat within the game actually looks pretty good from what we have seen throughout the couple of videos. It looks pretty similar to Path of Exiles, but realistically it's pretty similar to most hack and slash action MMOs and RPGs. Its environment, its ambiance, and the overall theme is visually pretty dark and grimy, somewhat in between um, you know, Path of Exile and Grim Dawn. Ultimately, I think this game could it could find its spot. I'm not sure how well it will do compared to the Diablos and Path of Exile, and like I said, Grim Dawn and other games. It'll be hard for them to overtake the spots of the other large games that are already in the scene, but I do think it'll find itself with a nice niche of players and a community in the future after it releases. Once the game releases in early access, uh, hopefully I can get access to the game and show you guys what is going on with it, uh, go in depth and analyze the game throughout all of what it has to offer. But as of right now, that's what I want to tell you guys. I wanted to just give you the lay down on all things of what we have to know about Guardians of Ember right now. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you guys are looking forward to this game and uh, if not, let me know as well in the comment section below. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Always helps to leave some feedback and support as well. And I'll see you guys in the next one.